Each letter of the alphabet makes a unique sound. Why don't we practice them together? Let's start with the letter A. The letter A sounds like A, just like alligator and ant. This letter A is green. Good job. Let's see what the next letter sounds like. Our next letter is the letter B. B sounds like B, just like a B and bear. This B is yellow. Our next letter of the alphabet is C. C can sometimes sound like ch, like cheetah, or it can sound like k, like cat. This letter C is orange. The letter C, k or ch. Let's see what's next. It's the letter D. The letter D makes a d sound, d, just like deer or dog. D is the letter D. This D is red. Our next letter of the alphabet is E. E sounds like E and sometimes sounds like E, just like elephant and eagle. E, E. This letter E is blue. F comes next in the alphabet. F makes a F, F sound, like in flamingo or fish. This F is pink. Let's see what we have next. Next, we have the letter G. The letter G sometimes sounds like J, J like in giraffe, or g, g, like goat. G, the letter G. This G is yellow. Let's see what we have next. Wow, it's the letter H. H makes a h huh sound, h, huh, like hippo, or like hedgehog, h, huh, the letter H. This H is purple. Now, we're gonna put it back and see that we have the letter I. The letter I sounds like I, I, just like in iguana or inchworm, I. I, the letter I. This letter I is green. Here we go. Our next letter is the letter J. J makes a J sound, J, like in jaguar or jackrabbit. J, J. This J is yellow. Let's keep going, I'm having fun. Our next letter is the letter K. K sounds like K, K. Like in kangaroo or koala, K, the letter K. This K is red. We have the letter L. The letter L sounds like L, L, like lion or lobster. The letter L, L. This L is orange. 
Our next letter is the letter M. The letter M sounds like M, M, like in monkey, or mouse. M, the letter M. This M is blue. After the letter M is the letter M. N. N sounds like n, n, like in narwhal or newt, the letter N. N. This N is also blue. Now we have the letter O. O sounds like ah, ah. Like in owl or octopus. Ah, o. This o is orange. I'm having fun. Are you? Good. Let's look at the letter P. The letter P sounds like p, p, just like penguin or. Parrot. This letter P is black. After P is the letter Q. The letter Q sounds like qu, like in quail or quetzal. That's a bird. This letter Q is red. Our next letter is R. R sounds like r, r, like in raccoon or rabbit. Look at that cute rabbit. R sounds like r. This R is purple. Now we have the letter S. S sounds like like in snake or squid. This letter S is green. S, the letter S. Now we have the letter T. T sounds like t, t, like in tiger. Or toad, t, the letter T. This T is orange. Now we have a really fun letter. The letter U sounds like U or U.、Uh. Here's a fun animal. Did you know that unicorn starts with the letter U? And this U is pink. Now we have the letter V. The letter V sounds like v, v, just like in vulture or vampire bat. V, v. This V is yellow. Now we have the letter W. W sounds like w, w, like whale or walrus. W, W. This W is blue. This is a fun letter. The letter X. X sounds like. X, just like in X-ray fish. Can you say X-ray fish? Good. This letter is also blue. We're almost done. The letter Y sounds like Y, Y, just like in yak. The letter Y. 
Y. This letter Y is red. And now we're on our last letter of the alphabet, the letter Z. Z sounds like Z, just like in zebra. And this letter Z is black and white. You did so great today. Let's say them all together now. Say it with me. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Great job. Oh no, all of my letters got mixed up. Can you help me put them back in order and match the right letter with the right color? Let's start with A. This letter A is green. Do you see the letter A? Hmm. There it is. Perfect, the letter A, green. Next, we have the letter B. This B is yellow. Do you see the letter B here? There it is, the letter B is yellow. Now we have the letter C. This C is orange. Do you see the letter C here? Look real hard. There, there it is. This letter C is orange. Next, we need to help. I need help finding the letter D. Hmm, this D is red. There it is. The letter D. This D is red. Now we have the letter E. Can you see the letter E? This E is blue. There it is. The letter E is blue. Next is the letter F. This F is pink. Can you see the pink letter? Hmm. There, the letter F. Pink. Now we have the letter G. This G is yellow. Do you see a yellow G here? Right there. The letter G is yellow. Now we have to look for the letter H. This H is purple. Do you see a purple H? Right there, the letter H, purple. Our next letter is a letter I. Do you remember what color this was? Right, green. We're looking for a green letter I. Yes, you found it. I, green. Now we have to look for the letter J. It looks like this one's yellow. Do you see a yellow J? There, up at the top. This J is yellow. Now I'm looking for a pink letter K. Can you see a pink letter K? Yes, there it is. The letter K is pink. Next, I need help looking for the letter L. This L is orange. Do you see an orange letter L? Look hard. There it is, yes. 
The letter L is orange. Now we need to look for the letter M. This M is blue. Do you see a blue letter M? There it is. The letter M is blue. Now we need to look for the letter N. This letter N is blue too, but it's a little different blue. Do you see the N? There it is. The letter N is blue. The letter O is orange. Can you see an orange letter O? There, thanks for helping me. This letter O is orange. The letter P is black and white. Hmm, that's a hard one. Do you see it? Right, there it is. The black and white letter P. The letter Q is red. Let's look for a red letter Q. Do you see it? I think I do. Yes, there it is. A red letter Q. Right there. Now let's look for the letter R. This R looks like it's purple. A purple letter R. Hmm. There it is. It's the letter R. Purple. Now we can look for the letter S. This S is green. Do you see it here? A green letter S? Right. We found it. S, the letter green. The letter T is orange. Let's look for an orange T. Do you see it? Right, right there next to it. The letter T is orange. Now, remember this one? The letter U was pink. Do you remember the pink unicorn? Do you see it? Right, there it is. The pink U. Now we have the letter V. V for vulture. Do you see a yellow letter V? Hmm. There, right. The letter V is yellow. The letter W is blue. Do you see a blue W? I think I see it. Point to it, yes, it's a blue W. You were right. Now we can find the letter X. The letter X is blue also. Hmm, I think I see it. Yes, right there. The letter blue. The letter X is blue. Now we have the letter Y. Do you see a red letter Y? Yep, I see it right there. The letter Y is red. And our last letter, the letter Z. I know you got this one. The letter Z is black and white. Perfect. The letter Z. Can we say the alphabet one more time together? Great, let's go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, 
O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. Yay! I had so much fun together today. Tell your parents to subscribe to the channel if they want more great learning activities. Bye for now. Let's practice our ABCs, phonics, colors, and animals. Are you ready? Great! Red in Spanish is rojo. The letter A sounds like A, eh, like an alligator or ant. Our next letter is a letter B. Let's color it green. In Spanish, green is verde. The letter B makes a B sound, just like in B, bzz, and bear. A bear can roar really loud. The letter C, let's color with purple. In Spanish, that's morado. The letter C makes a K and CH sound, like in K cat and ch cheetah. Let's color the letter D with gray. In Spanish, that's gris. D makes a D, D sound, like in dog and deer. Let's color the letter E with orange. In Spanish, that's anaranjado. The letter E makes an E and E sound, just like in E elephant and E eagle. The next letter, let's color brown. In Spanish, that's café. The letter F makes a F, F sound, like F flamingo and fish. Let's put them all together and say it from the beginning. Start with A, B, C, D, E, and F. Great! The letter G, let's color blue. Remember in Spanish, that's azul. G makes a J sound, like giraffe. And it makes a G sound, like goat. The color yellow is Amarillo in Spanish. The letter H makes a H, H sound, like in hippo and hedgehog. Our next color is black. In Spanish, that's negro. The letter I makes an I, I sound, just like in iguana and inchworm. Pink in Spanish is rosado. The letter J makes a J, J sound for jaguar and jackrabbit. The color brown is café in Spanish. The letter K makes a K, K sound, just like in kangaroo and koala. Let's color our next letter with purple, which is morado in Spanish. The letter L makes a L sound, like a lion that roars really loud. And in lobster. Let's try it again from the beginning. G, H, I, J, K, L. Our next letter is orange. Remember, anaranjado? The letter M makes a M sound like in monkey and mouse. Look at that cute little mouse. Yellow is amarillo and the letter N makes an N sound. Narwhal starts with N and so does Newt. The letter green is verde in Spanish. The letter O makes an A uh and O sound like an owl and octopus. 
The color blue is azul. And the letter P makes a p, p sound, like in penguin and parrot. Remember the color pink is rosado in Spanish. And Q makes a q, q sound, just like quail. The color red is rojo. And the letter R sounds like er for raccoon and rabbit. Let's do this set again. M N O P Q R. Great job. Gray is gris in Spanish. Remember the letter S makes an s sound like snake and squid. The color brown is café and the letter T makes a t, t sound just like tiger and toad. What does a toad say? Ribbit? Right. Black is negro. Remember U makes a U, U and a uh sound like in unicorn. Blue is azul. And the letter V makes a V sound, just like for vulture and vampire bat. Pink is rosado. And the letter W makes a W sound for whale and walrus. Remember this one? Orange is anaranjado. That's a long word. X makes an X sound. X-ray fish starts with an X. Let's do it again from the beginning. S T U V W and X. Great job. Blue is azul. And the letter Y makes a Y sound. Yak starts with the letter Y. Let's color this Z with green. Verde. Z, remember, makes a Z sound. Like zebra. Here we go again. Y and Z. Let's do it all from the beginning. You can do it. A, B, C, D. E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. You did it. Great job, everyone. Please ask your parents to subscribe to the channel. Bye. Each of these letters transforms into an animal or an insect. Are you excited to try it? Let's go. Let's start with the letter A. This letter A is green. In Spanish, green is verde. Okay, we open it up. Oh, there are two legs here. I'm gonna pop those down. I wonder what animal this is. And the back opens up. Oh, it looks like that's a tail. Okay, so I put the back down. And then there's the head. It's a stegosaurus. Wow. The letter A stands for apple. That's a squirrel eating that apple. Let's look at the letter B now. Yellow in Spanish is amarillo. This letter B is amarillo. Hmm, as we open each piece, I see legs and arms. Okay, there's a foot I can turn. Oh, I think this is a tail. And then that's the back. Oh, look, inside of the back is the head. Oh, I know what that is. It's a Tyrannosaurus. 
We also call it a T-Rex. The letter B stands for bear. A bear can roar really loud. Let's look at the letter C now. This C is red. In Spanish, red is rojo. Okay, so the sides open up and it looks like these bottoms open up to legs, okay. And then the top. Oh, it looks like that's a tail. I think I have it upside down. Oh no, that's the head. It has wings and little arms. It's a pteranodon. A pteranodon was a flying reptile. It didn't have any teeth. C is for cat. Meow. The letter D is next. This D is blue. In Spanish, blue is azul. Now let's open up this letter D and see what we have. Hmm, the legs, it looks like it has four legs. Okay. And if I open up the back, it has a long neck. I think I know what this is. And the tail, it's a brontosaurus. The letter D stands for dog. That dog looks like he's going on vacation. Next is the letter E. Let's open it up and see what we have. The sides open. It looks like that might be the back. And then the legs drop down. I wonder if it has feet in there. Hmm. Oh, there's a head. And there's a tail. It's an ankylosaurus. It had a wide armored skull. E is for elephant. Those elephants like to get muddy. Our next letter is F. Let's see if I open up this end and, oh, the sides open up. Those look like wings. And if I pop the head up, okay. Here are some feet. Those are some pretty big wings. It's a pterodactyl. One of the largest flying dinosaurs. And that's a fish. F is for fish. The letter G is orange. Orange in Spanish is anaranjado. That's a big word. Let's see if I open up the sides. It look like, looks like these are four legs. And there's a tail when I open up the back. And then this looks like the head pops out. Hey, it's a triceratops. Triceratops has two main horns. And our letter G is for goat. That's a baby goat, a cute baby goat. Now we have the letter H. This is light blue. In Spanish, that's azul celeste. Now let's open up the letter H and see what we have. Uh, that looks like feet. And on the side, those look like really big hands. And then that's the stomach. And that's the head. Okay. And the sides go in like that. It's a gorilla. A gorilla is one of the stockiest animals with a broad chest. H is for happy. Look how happy those kids are. Our next letter is I. It's purple, and in Spanish, that's morado. Let's open it up and see what we have. Okay, the sides pop open. It looks like they're long legs. Hmm, what animal has two long legs? And then here are two more legs. They're long too. And they pop down like this and it has little feet. It's a deer. A deer is one of the few animals that can grow antlers. I is for iceberg. That looks really cold. Next is the letter J. I wonder what we have inside the letter J. Okay, these are legs and feet. Okay, the feet pop down. 
and it has front two feet. Oh, and little claws. Oh, it has claws. And then the tail. Okay, that's open. I put the back on. I wonder where the head is. Oh, there it is. Hey, that's an alligator. It has a large head and a lizard-like body. J is for jellyfish. Don't touch a jellyfish, it'll sting you. Our next letter is K. I can't wait to open this one up and see what we have. Okay, the sides open up and legs drop down. Oh, it has two more legs. Okay, so we know it has four legs and a little tail and it has horns. It's a bull. Bulls are much more muscular than cows. K is for kangaroo. Next is the letter L. Pink in Spanish is rosado. This letter L is rosado. Hmm, it looks like it has a long neck and really long legs. Two long legs. Does it have more? It does. There are the other two legs. I know what that is. It's a giraffe. Giraffes are the world's tallest animals. L is for lion. They're the only cats that live in groups. Our next letter is M. Hmm. It looks like these are the legs on the side. And I think those are big ears that are coming down. What's that under there? It's a trunk. I know what animal this is. It's an elephant. Yep, there are the big legs in the back. Elephants are herbivores. They eat a range of plants, including grasses and fruit and roots. M is for monkey. They're very intelligent animals. And now we have the letter N. Okay, are you ready to find out what's inside? Here we go. It looks like it. Is this going to be a leg? Yep, it's a leg. And there's another one. And I'll bet there are two more. Okay, it looks like it has. Oh, that's the tail. It's a jaguar. That's the largest cat in America. N is for net. That looks like a soccer ball net. And now we have the letter O. Oh, I can't wait to see what's inside. Okay, it looks like it has lots of legs. Skinny legs at the bottom here. And claws. Okay, it looks like it has claws on the top. It's a crab. And the letter O is for owl. Owls have big eyes to see in the dark. Our next letter is P. Let's open it up. Let's start here. Okay, looks like it also has claws. As I open those up. Ooh, it looks like it has pinchers. And with a long tail. Looks like they move. There's the tail. I know. It's a scorpion. They're arachnids that have eight legs, like their cousins, the spiders. And P is for porcupine. They're rodents with needle-like spikes. Okay, let's look at the letter Q. Opening it up, it looks like it has a long tail also, and some claws, and a Weird tail, what is this? Oh, it's a lobster. Lobsters have five pairs of legs. And Q stands for question mark. Now, let's look at the letter R. This one is blue. If I open it up, oh, okay, it looks like these two pieces come together. And the sides pop down. Oh, it looks like those are fins and a big thick head. Oh, it's a shark. 
Sharks can be very scary. The letter R stands for reptile. That's an iguana. And now we have the letter S. Let's open it up and see what we have. Okay, this little flap comes open and that's the head. Looks like it has a long nose. And this part is a part of the back. It looks like this is the tail and it opens up. Oh, this rolls out and then it comes together. Oh, it's a seahorse. They're named like that because their head is in the shape of a horse. And S is for swan. They're water birds with heavy bodies and long necks. Here we go with the letter T. Okay, looks like these sides open up and they go up to the top and the top comes together to make a long head. Oh, it looks like there's lots of legs or tentacles. Yeah, they look like tentacles. Oh, I think I can see what this is. It's a squid. Squid are related to octopus, except they have 10 arms instead of eight. And T is for tiger. Can you roar really loud like a tiger? Good job. The letter U. Okay, this one's gonna be a fun surprise, I feel. These tops come open. The sides pop down, okay. Are they wings? I don't know. And then this part pops up. Oh, it looks like that's a long tail. Oh, and it has a beak. I think that's a chicken. They're the most common birds on earth. Yep, it's a chicken. And the letter U is for unicorn. They may be pretend, but they're so pretty. The letter V. Let's open it up and see what we have. Let's see, the side pops open like this. Oh, I wonder if it's another creature with wings. Oh, it has, okay, feet. And then there's the neck. Oh, it looks like an eagle. I don't know yet though. Yep, there's the tail. And it, I'll, I'll bet it could fly. Yep, it's an eagle. The golden eagle has a symbol of power since ancient times. And V is for vegetable. Always make sure you eat your vegetables. Now the letter W. Okay, looks like these, we're gonna start with wings. Looks like it has wings. And this back will open up. Oh, it opens to a tail, a big tail. And where's the head? There's the head. It's a peacock with a beautiful tail. That's W. W stands for water, like waterfall. And now the letter X. Okay, I'm gonna pop open this side. It looks like, I wonder if that's a tail or feet? Let's see. And these sides pop open. Oh, and those go together like a long tail. And, oh, these sides pop out like wings. Well, I know it flies, but what is it? It's a dragonfly. It can fly faster than most other insects. X is for xylophone. That's a musical instrument. And now the letter Y. Okay, let's open this up. These, okay, these pop up and it looks like, oh, it has a long tail. And it looks like it has pinchers on the tail and the hands. Hmm, and these sides come out to make even more claws. It's a crab. Crabs have two large eyes that extend from their head. And now the letter Y. Y is for yawn. Our last letter is the letter Z. 
I wonder what our last letter is going to be. Okay, so I pop open this top part, and it looks like this part's a tail. I wonder if these are legs. Okay. It looks like the legs pop open, and oh, it has a thick tail, and that's the head. Oh, it's a praying mantid. They have long necks with triangle heads. They can be pretty big insects. A praying mantid. And that's the letter Z. You know what animal that is, zebra. Thanks for playing with me today. I had a lot of fun and learned the alphabet. Have a great day. Bye. Is for apple, ah, ah, apple, ah, ah, apple, A, apple, B is for baby, B, B, baby, B, B, baby, B, baby, C is for candy, C, C, candy, C, C, candy, C, candy, D is for diamond. Elephant, eh, eh, elephant, eh, eh, elephant, e, elephant. F is for fairy, 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 f, fairy. G is for glasses, g, g, glasses, g, g, glasses, g, glasses. H is for hand.
We have some alphabets to practice today. Are you ready? Let's go! Let's start with the letter A. Let's see what's inside the letter A. Hmm. We have lots of stuff in here. Okay. Let's start with the apple. Apple starts with the letter A. A P P L E. Apple. Next, we have Wow, what's that? That's an ant. Ant also starts with the letter A. A N T. Ant. Our letter A is red. And here we have red blocks. Why don't we count them and see how many we have? One, two, three red blocks. Great, let's put them in the can. Now we have a red couch. Hey, that looks like the sofa from Blue's Clues. Here comes Blue, and he's going to sit in red sofa. Hi, Blue. That's the letter A, and it's red. Now let's practice the letter B. B makes a B sound. This B is purple. Let's see what's inside. There's something else in there. Okay, the letter B. Let's see what we have. Hey, I know what that is. That's a banana. Banana is spelled B-A-N-A-N-A. -N -A -N -A. Banana. What's that? Those are buttons. That's spelled with a B too. Let's see, we have B-U-T-T-O-N-S, buttons. Hmm, hey, I know what that is. That's a book, I love to read. Do you love to read? Let's see, book is spelled B O. Okay, book. The letter B here is purple. And we have some purple things here. Let's see, we have, hey, I think these are pterodactyls. Let's count them. One, two, three. Three pterodactyls. What's this? It's Mailbox from Blue's Clues. Hi, Mailbox. Here, Pink is gonna get the mail. Oh, no mail today. Maybe tomorrow. Thank you, Mailbox. The letter B. Now we have the letter C. This letter C is green. Let's see what we have inside. Hmm. Okay. Let's start with this. That's corn. Corn starts with a C. Oops, I dropped it. C O R N. Corn. Next, we have, hey, I know what that is. That's a cat. Can you spell cat? C-A-T, cat. Do you have a cat at home? I love cats. Hey, this is Rocky from Paw Patrol. Rocky is wearing a green suit. Just like the letter C is green. Green in Spanish is verde. Can you say verde? Great job! Hi Rocky! 
Now I have some squares that are also green. Why don't we count them? One, two, three, four, and five. Five green squares. That's the letter C. Great job! Hmm, I wonder what's inside the letter D can. Well, this letter D is orange. Let's find out. Hmm, let's see what we have. First, do you know what that is? I know, that's a dragonfly. And a dragonfly starts with a D. Dragonfly, D-R-A-G-O-N-F-L-Y. That's a long word, but dragonflies are so pretty. Next we have, I know what that is. Do you have a dog? I have a dog. Why don't we spell it together? Dog starts with the letter D. D-O-G, dog. Hmm, before I show you the picture, let's see if we can spell this word and you can guess what it is. D-U-C-K. Duck. That's right. It's a duck. Do you know what a duck says? Quack, quack. <laughs> That's right. Great job. Duck. Hey, what do I have here? Is that... Pluto? I think that's Pluto. Pluto's orange, just like the letter D. Orange. He's a dog, too. D for dog. And orange. Do you know what orange is in Spanish? It's anaranjado. That's a really long word. Why don't we try it together? Anaranjado. <laughs> Good job. We have one more thing here. It's an orange star. This orange star has the letter five. You think you can count to five with me? Let's try it. One, two, three, four, five. You did it. I'm so proud of you. That's an orange star with the number five. And that's our letter D. Now we have the letter E. This letter E is red. Are you ready to see what's inside? I am. Let's find out. Hmm. The letter E. Let's see what we have. Wow, that's a beautiful bird. That's an eagle. And the eagle starts with the letter E. E-A-G-L-E. -E. Eagle. Have you ever seen a bald eagle? I have. It's beautiful. Next. Hey, that's a number. Do you know what number that is? Right, it's the number 11. The number 11 starts with an E also. E-L-E-V-E-N. That's a lot of E's in that word. Hey, I'll bet you know what this is. That's an elephant. And elephant starts with an E also. Let's spell it together. E-L-E-P-H. A-N-T, elephant. You did great. Now remember, this letter E is red. We have some red items here. What do we have? That's a red heart with a number two. Can you help me count to two? Okay, let's try it together. One, two. Good job. 
what do I have left? Hey, it's Side Table from Blue's Clues. And here comes Blue to hop on Side Table. Hi, Side Table. Bye, Side Table. This Side Table is red, just like the letter E. Do you know what red is in Spanish? It's rojo. Red, rojo. Good job. Next we have the letter F. This letter F is blue. Let's see what's inside. Hmm. Okay, let's see what's inside. Hmm. The letter F is blue. And we have, hey, that's a fan. Fan is spelled with an F. F-A-N. Fan. What do we have next? I know what that is. It's a fish. F-I-S-H. Fish. This F is blue. And we have some blue items here. Why don't we count them and stack them at the same time? One, two, three, I hope it doesn't fall, and four. Yeah, we did it! Four blue blocks. Oh no, I dropped it. Hey! It's Josh from Blue's Clues. He has a blue sweater on. Hi, Josh. Let's see if we can get you to stand up. Okay, good job, Josh. And here's your buddy, Blue. Hi, Josh. Hi, Blue. How you doing? I'm good. Good. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye, Josh. Be sure to check out the next video so you find out what letter comes up next. Also, if you want to play with some of these same toys, while you're watching the video, check out the link in the description below and you can purchase the same toy. Thanks. See you soon. Welcome back. I hope you started with the first video that began with the letter A, the beginning of the alphabet. Our next letter of the alphabet is G. This G is purple. Let's see what's inside. Hmm. We have some good stuff in here. Okay. Let's start with a goat. Did you know that goat starts with the letter G? G-O-A-T. Goat. Do you hear that g g sound in goat? That's right. Next we have guitar. It has the same g sound. Let's spell it. G-U-I-T-A-R. Guitar. And our last word, hmm, I'm gonna make you guess on this one. What do you think this is? It starts with a G and has a G sound. That's right, it's goose. G-O-O-S-E. Goose. This letter G is purple, and we have some purple things here. Let's see what we have. Hey, is that Daisy Duck? I think it is. She's wearing a purple outfit and a purple bow. Did you know that purple in Spanish is morado? That's right. Can you say morado? Good job. Hey, I think these are dinosaurs. They're pterodactyls actually. They're purple also. Let's count them while we put them in the can. One, two. Two pterodactyls. Thank you, letter G. 
And remember, this G is purple. Next we have, you guessed it, the letter H. And this H is green. Let's see what we have inside. There's something stuck in there. Okay. Let's see what starts with the letter H. You know what this is. It's a house. Can you hear the sound in house? Let's spell it. H-O-U-S-E. House. This is a long one. I'm not gonna show you the picture yet. Maybe you can sound it out and figure out what animal it is. Let's sound it out together. Hippopotamus. Hippopotamus. Right. He's really big. And here we have a hat. Do you hear the H sound? Let's spell it. H-A-T. Hat. Hmm. What do we have here? We have some triceratops, and they're green too. Why don't we count them? One, two, three, and four. Four triceratops that are green. Do you remember how to say green in Spanish? It's verde, right. Let's put these away and see what our next letter is. Our next letter is the letter I. The letter I makes an I or I sound. This I is red. Let's see what we have inside. Okay. What's that? It's cold. That's your clue. It's ice. You spell ice. I-C-E. Ice. Let's spell this together. One of my favorite foods. I-C-E. C-R-E-A-M. That's ice cream. I hope it's chocolate ice cream. That's my favorite. Okay, let's spell this one first, then I'll show you the picture. I-R-O-N. Let's sound it out. Iron. <laughs> yeah, it's an iron. What do we have here? Hey, it's the Little Mermaid. It's Ariel. Hi, Ariel. She has red hair, just like our letter I. It's red. She's gonna go swimming now back into the jar. Plop. Here we have, it looks like a Tyrannosaurus Rex, and it's red too, just like the letter I. Let's count them together. One, two, three. Three red Triceratops. You're doing great. One, two, three. Let's see what's next. Now we have the letter J. Hey, what color is the letter J? That's right, it's orange. Let's see what's inside. Hmm. Let's start with our picture. That's a jet, or an airplane that goes really fast. Let's spell it. J-E-T, jet. Now this J is orange, and Zuma from Paw Patrol is wearing an orange suit. He likes to swim, just like Ariel. Hi, Zuma. Let's count more dinosaurs. Do you remember how to say orange in Spanish? It's that really long word. Anaranjado, right. Let's count. One, two, 
three, four, and five. Five dinosaurs. Let's put them back in the can. Do you know what letter comes after J? You're right, it's K. This K is blue. Hmm, they have lots of fun things inside this one. That's a key. Can you hear the k, k sound that a K makes? Let's spell it out. K-E-Y, key. I know what that is. That's a kangaroo. Can you say that with me? Kangaroo. It's a long word, but let's spell it. K-A-N-G-A-R-O-O. -O. Great job. Remember, this letter K is blue. How do you say blue in Spanish? Azul, that's right. And that's Donald Duck. His hat is blue. Don't forget, he has his friend, Daisy Duck. Hi, Donald. Hi, Daisy. Are you having a good day? I am, are you? I am, thanks. Bye, Donald. Bye, Daisy. Hey, I love counting. And here we have some squares. They're blue too. Let's count the squares as we put them back in the can. One, two, three, four, and five. You did great. Can you guess what our next letter is? It's the letter L, that's right. This L is purple. Do you remember in Spanish what purple is? It's morado. Hmm, I wonder what's inside the letter L. Let's see. Did you know that lemon starts with an L? It does. Let's spell it. L-E-M-O-N. Lemon. Hmm, let's make this animal a surprise. Let's spell it out first. L-I-O-N. Lion. That's a lion. And what does a lion say? Roar! It makes a big roaring sound. Hmm, this is a ladybug. And this ladybug is purple. It has a dot on its back. Why don't we count it? One. Did we get it right? We did! That's the number one. And that's the letter L, and it's purple. Let's review the letters that we just learned. G, H, I, J, K, and L. <laughs> that's a lot of letters. Let's see what's next. Remember, if you want to practice the letters that we just did, you can purchase this by clicking the link below. Make sure you watch each video so that you can practice the entire alphabet. Bye for now. The first letter of the alphabet is A. This A is green. The letter A makes an A and A sound. Angel starts with the letter A. Can you say A, angel? Good job. It goes right here because it's the first letter of the alphabet. Our next letter is B. This B is red. Do you know what word starts with B? Bird. B, bird. Can you sound that out with me? B, bird. Good job. We put that right there because it's the second letter of the alphabet. Now our third letter of the alphabet is C, which makes a K sound, like cat. This letter is blue. 
and cat starts with the letter C. Can you sound that out with me? C, cat. Great. Our next letter is the letter D. This D is yellow. It makes a D sound, just like duck. Let's try that together. D, duck. Do you know what a duck sounds like? Quack, quack, quack. <laughs> That's right, good job. Okay, let's put that right there. And let's find our next letter. It's the letter E. This letter is green. The letter E sounds like E and E, just like in ear. That's right, we all have ears. Okay, our next letter is the letter F. This F is blue. The word frog starts with F. Let's sound that out together. F frog. Do you know what a frog sounds like? Ribbit. Right. Good job. Okay. Our next letter is G. Do you know what color this G is? It's the same color as our D. Think about it. It's yellow, right? And the letter G makes a G sound, just like in goat. Okay, let's put that right there. Our next letter of the alphabet is H. Look, it's another yellow. The word hat starts with H. Let's sound that out. Hat. Good job. Okay, our next letter is the letter I. Do you know what color this is? It's the same as our E and our A. It's green, right? Did you know that the word iron starts with an I? It does. Let's put it right there. And our next, next letter is a J. Can you remember what color this is? It's the same color as the C and the F. Blue, right. The word jam starts with the letter J. Let's sound that one out. J, jam. Okay, you're doing awesome. Our next letter is right here. It's the letter K. This K is red. And the word that we're going to sound out today is kite. K, kite. Starts with the letter K. I love flying a kite, especially when the weather is beautiful outside. Our next letter is the letter L. This L is, let's say it together, yellow. And the word lion starts with L. Lion. Nice job. Okay, M is next. This M is blue. Can we make a M sound? M. <laughs> Good. The word milk also starts with an M. Milk. Okay. Do you know where milk comes from? It comes from a cow. And what sound does a cow make? Here we have the letter N. The letter N is red and makes an N sound, just like in nest. Here's our nest. Let's put it right there. Here we have the letter O. This letter O is, let's say it together, green, right? Did you know that the word owl starts with an O? Do you know what an owl says? Who, who, <laughs> right? Okay, let's put that there. Here we have the letter P. This P is yellow. A word like pot or pan starts with the letter P, P, pan. Okay, let's put that there. Hmm, this is a fun one. Here it is, it's the letter Q. This Q is red. It makes a K or quick sound, just like in quilt, 
that you wrap yourself up with when you're cold and you want to get warm. Okay, now we have the letter R. Here it is. This letter R is yellow. Did you know that the word radio starts with the letter R? Radio. Let's sound that one out together. Radio. Great. Okay, now we have the letter S. Here it is. This S is red. The letter S is a fun word. Words like snake and sun start with the letter S. Okay, our next letter is T. This letter T is blue. T. Train starts with the letter T. T. Train. And here we have the letter U. This one is green. The letter U is how we start the word uncle. It has an uh, uh sound. Uncle. Do you have an uncle? I have an uncle. He's really nice. The letter V is right here, and this one is blue. The word van starts with the letter V. The van. Okay. Here we have our letter W. And this one is, what color is it? Red, right. Do you have a wagon at home? Wagon starts with the letter W. Let's say that one together. What? Wagon. You are doing so great so far. And now we have the letter X. Here it is. This letter X is yellow. And the word X-ray starts with the letter X. Okay, we're almost done. Now we have the letter Y. This Y is blue. Yarn starts with the letter Y. Y, yarn. Okay, here we are with our last letter. It's the letter Z. Let's say it together. What color is this? Red, right. Z starts the word zebra. Okay, let's put this right there and let's say our alphabet all together now. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Great job today. Please consider subscribing for more great educational videos.